Oh, we are so close to the 10,000 user rank right now. It's about time we unseal the gates of my cat storage and- Wait! Where's the promised tier list video? Hold on a second, I just gotta claim my dear Saber real quick. But we want to see her in the top tier because she's the best! Alright, alright, tier list will drop at the very start of May. Satisfied? That's a long time- One thing at a time. My cat storage is literally about to bust. We're gonna claim Saber as our 9999th unit of user rank. If I can find her... Okay, Saber is floating in the middle of a hell lot of units right now. Let's get Saber. And... 9999 user rank. Now the normal cats can be upgraded to plus 90. But for the 5 digit milestone... Now a certain legend rare got his true form in the recent update. Despite that, you're still gonna appear in the bottom of my tier list. But nevertheless, we're gonna true form you today, here and now. It's the moment we've been waiting for. Pick up the user rank reward and we got one extra platinum ticket which uh, gets us to a total of 5. Ooh, we're about to get 6 of them actually. Alright, we are gonna very quickly boost ourselves to probably 11,000 user rank as well. So while I upgrade my monster cats in the background, let's talk about how to get your user rank to the 5 digit milestone fast. And by fast, I mean in less than a year. To help you achieve this monumental goal, I have curated these 5 best tips that applies to everyone regardless of where you are in the game in chronological order of progression. If you're already a pro, stay till the end for a top secret tip. But if you're a beginner, you should follow every tip along the way to maximize your progression speed. Before we start, keep in mind that early game refers to Into the Future Chapter 3 completion, while mid game refers to Stories of Legend completion. Starting off with the first and most obvious tip, did you know that you can obtain up to 3 extra units per month by just claiming your login stamps? Despite being a gacha game, Battle Cats has a fairly generous logging reward system that gives players, especially beginners, a substantial amount of reward every month. This includes rare battle items such as treasure raiders as well as normal cat tickets, and you guessed it, rare tickets. During cola periods, your logging rewards may consist of limited time units that are given exclusively through logging rewards just like the recent Fate Stay Night collaboration event. The units that you get won't be super powerful, but most belong to the special cat section, which means that they are extremely cheap to upgrade compared to the rest of your cats, so you can easily milk 30 user rank out of those bench warmers. Tip number 2. Spend your cat foods wisely. This is not an in-depth gacha guide, and I'm sure it's already common sense to you the experienced players, but for those of you who are new, always, always spend your cat food on guaranteed banners. Like, don't even spend it on Superfest if you happen to come across one. Spend it on 100% guaranteed banners. To illustrate the probabilistic advantage, let's do some quick math. On Superfest, you have a flat 10% uber drop rate, whereas on normal banners you only get 5%. Now keep that in mind for the next 30 seconds because we're gonna figure out what the drop rate for guaranteed banners are. We know that for every 10 draws, you get a guaranteed, unconditionally granted uber rare that belongs to the banner. Therefore even ignoring the possibility of getting another uber in those 10 draws, you still have a 10% uber drop rate. That is, for every 100 rolls, you will get at least 10 uber rares. But aren't you also expecting to get 10 uberes in 100 rows on Superfest? The key difference lies in the fact that normal banners still retain its original 5% drop rate on top of the guaranteed uber every 10 rows, 
which means that realistically, in every 100 rolls, you're expecting 15 Uber Rares, which is 50% more than expected 10% you would get in Superfest. I know how badly you want your personal D cars leave, but for the sake of speeding up your progression, you just may want to abandon that idea for later when you have access to cat ticket farming stages like Siege of Hippo or Facing Danger, and only then should you dump your hardened red tickets into those high drop rate fest banners and pray to the cat god that your dream comes true. That brings us naturally to tip number 3. Grind your XP. I know, nobody likes grinding, but it is an inevitable part of early game and mid game in the Battle Cats. Luckily for you, those who came before have discovered ways of farming tons of XP in minutes, even as far as maxing out the game's XP cap in just under half an hour. Incredible, I know, right? I will put up a couple of links down in the description below that showcase the method, but you have to have access to XP Colosseum and the units required to beat it. There are plenty of no gacha strategies on YouTube, so don't worry if you don't have that level 40 Immortal Yukimura that can 2 tap the boss, but if you haven't beaten into the future yet, I would suggest doing so first as you would probably need some help from our little friend Bombercat. This is not an in-depth guide on farming XP either, so I am going to spare the details, but generally, if you're below 1000 user rank, you'd want to farm the sweet XP stages as well as the weekend stages, both of which happen to be identical to each other. The main goal here is to level up and true form your key gacha units as quickly as possible, so you can beat all the special event stages that drop new cat units and rare tickets. And tip number 4, collect your event tickets. This is a pretty important one as event tickets usually give you access to many cheap to upgrade units that are unobtainable anywhere else. A prime example would be Lil Cats, which also belong in the special cat section and cost only thousands of XP per level. They may seem underwhelming at first, but later on, when you acquire their true forms, they become super powerful with very niche talents such as shield piercing that you don't really see in any other non-gacha unit. Moreover, units from event tickets usually belong in either the special or red cat section, which means that they are usable in full crown stories of legend stages. This may not be relevant to you if you're below 5000 user rank, but do keep in mind that special and rare cats are the only units you can use there to eventually unlock Idi, a powerful relic rusher that outclasses even the legend rare cat Leisure Luger. Enough spoiling, let's move on to tip number 5, which came quite recently with the Behemoth update that happened last year. With the release of Behemoth's curling stages in version 11, players are now granted a mysterious egg for every 5 to 10 unique stages they clear in one of these three areas, Hidden Forest of Gapra, Ashvini Desert, and Jingforia Volcano. Incidentally, the very first egg you get not only broke its shells, but also broke the game's old meta, and its power level was beyond comprehension when it first came out, so make sure to hatch it as soon as possible. Clearly, it was an outlier, but the bottom line is that you acquire a bunch of new units that are relatively cheap to upgrade, and thus boost your user rank. Do note that Behemoth stages are quite difficult for beginners, so make sure to stick to Hidden Forest of Garpra as that is the easiest out of the three areas. So there you have it, the 5 best tips on how to increase your user rank fast. But wait, where's that secret tip you promised at the beginning of the video? Alright, since you've watched this far, I'm gonna risk another strike and discuss the topic for the second time on this channel. Secret tip. Learn how to perform the energy glitch. I'm sure that everyone's been bothered by the pesky energy system at least once in the Battlecast playtime, 
Like, how nice would it be if you could play continuously without having to wait hours in between several stages? This isn't as much of a problem for late game players who have accumulated hundreds of leaderships over years of playing the game, but for beginners who are trying to ascend to mid game fast, this is a huge barrier. Imagine waiting for a whole day for that 250 energy to come back, spending them on the stage called Love Metal Hippos, and then getting nothing but a miserable amount of XP in return. That is just one of the worst feelings ever in the early days of Battlecast that made a lot of people feel like they are stuck in their progression and hence considered quitting the game. Luckily, ways to bypass that awful mechanism exist even as of today in version 12.3 and here I have a method that is so quick and easy to perform that you can do it 5 times a minute, no joke. For the OGs who are watching this, you probably remember that I uploaded a time hack tutorial last year which got removed by none other than Ponos themselves, because it became the number one search result when you look for similar exploits on YouTube. I cannot possibly upload another time hack tutorial on YouTube, but if we ever hit 10k subscribers, I will make a Discord channel and release the better method there for everyone to enjoy. Well, that was a long discussion on how to boost yourself to a flex worthy 5 digit user rank and there we have it, 11,000 user rank. Let's claim our reward of 1 rare ticket. If you have any extra tips, make sure to contribute in the comment section below as that will be greatly appreciated by many other viewers and as always, See you in the next video. If you're wondering why on earth the tier list video is getting delayed until the start of May, my answer is, I must see for myself whether Dark Phone releases multiple mini surges or just one. That does make a big difference visually.